So the Rural Business Development Grant was designed by Conway Kilhalliol, um, local action group who lead on the projects uh, under the leader scheme. Uh, the aim of the scheme was to support the rural businesses within Conway and help them through their economic development. The scheme was delivered in partnership with ourselves, uh, Conway County Council's business support team, and our role within this was to provide as little or as much support as businesses needed um, to help them get their applications, um, to have the most success and be approved when they were presented to the grants panel. So the scheme was aimed at small and micro businesses who were registered with HMRC and had been actively trading for at least three months. Um, and the aim was that they then achieved objectives that um, were incorporated as part of the scheme. The fund provided a grant of between one and a half thousand and five thousand and that was based on 50% of project costs. The aim of the scheme, as mentioned, was to support businesses within the rural wards of Conway with their economic development. And this was through achieving specific aims that were incorporated as part of the scheme. These included um, development of a business or recovery of a business post-COVID, um, decarbonisation and climate emergency projects and town centre high street development post-COVID. So with regards to their projects, this could be through the purchase of IT equipment or tools. It could also be through um, projects that were looking at carbon reduction with things like solar panel install installation and um, low energy lighting um, or digitalisation development of the business. From the launch of the scheme in April, uh, we did have a lot of inquiries from businesses talking to us about wanting more information on the scheme and also talking through their projects to see whether they fitted in with the scheme. Um, from that, we had 15 applications and 13 of them went to panel uh, and were successfully approved. Uh, five of them, quite noticeably, were around the climate emergency and decarbonisation um, projects. Um, we had three businesses that looked to install solar, solar panels um, to help them reduce their energy costs during this energy crisis. And then we've had two holiday cottages that have installed EV chargers so that people with electric cars can um, charge up their vehicles. It, and it gives them another offering um, and makes them a little bit more unique with what they're offering for the businesses. Um, we know that from one of the holiday cottages that they've already had bookings on the basis of having um, EV chargers. Um, other projects, they've included um, some equipment for an ice cream, a large ice cream manufacturing company that has just um, relocated from their old site to a larger site within Conway. Uh, to a business that's had, that's in the forestry industry, that's had tower lighting to help them with the night work that they've gained through a large tender from the Mid Wales and North Wales Trunk Agency. We found out that there was grant funding available for um, EV chargers, um, and that was something that we had planned to put into the cottages anyway. So um, we did all the paperwork, worked quite hard to get the, the grant application in. Um, and so we've put four EV chargers into our four cottages here at Benar and yeah, it's been a really successful project. Obviously we wanted to have EV chargers because there are very few um, holiday cottages in this area with chargers. So that was our, our main focus. We wanted to be as environmentally friendly as we possibly can be and it's a unique selling point for us as a business. Yeah, and it's been a fantastic project, very successful. They all went in really quickly and they're all working. So. Without the leader intervention, we would never have been able to do it as quickly. It would have gone ahead, um, but it would have happened at a much slower pace. Because of all the, the hard work we had to do to put in the application, it certainly made us think about grant funding for other things. Um, for example, more efficient energy supply. We have an oil boiler here. Um, something, again, focusing on the environment, something we could do. The benefit for us is that uh, we have four holiday cottages in a farmyard setting, they're in a rural setting, um, and not many holiday cottages in the area have EV chargers, so it's, it's absolutely a unique selling point for us.
We received the leader funding, which helped us put the solar panels on the roof. I've uh, been looking at it for some time because we're trying to go greener in regards to business. Because uh, the more tenders we put in, we're having to become greener, and obviously, and then on top of that is the costs. So yeah, we've we've achieved it because we've got the solar on there, uh, and it's charging the batteries, and it's giving us free electric for the weekends at the moment. So we've been looking at it for some time, uh, and obviously, any project like this needs good capital funding. So we have to sort of make sure we've got the capital available. But once the grant came available, uh, it made it an easier decision for us just to go ahead straight away. So. Well, in the long run, it makes us more competitive, doesn't it? Because overheads affect our profit line. So therefore, you know, if we can get our on costs, um, keep, keep our on costs down, then obviously we can keep our margins competitive and grow the business even further and hopefully employ more people.